Hi everyone, my name is Johnson. Today I will try my best to explain Neutron Activation Analysis, NNA, in 3 minutes. NNA is a method for determination of concentration of elements using nuclear process. It begins with the sample being bombarded with neutrons. When the nucleus of a sample atoms capture a neutron, the neutron becomes strongly bounded in the nucleus. This binding releases energy that is shared by the entire nucleus, leaving it in an excited state. The excited nucleus promptly relaxes towards its ground state by emitting gamma rays. The de-excitation of the atom forms a new isotope which is still radioactive. It is unstable to the beta decay. The beta decay process is similar to photon emission. Following beta decay, the excited nucleus emits gamma rays to reach its ground state. Both gamma rays and beta particles can be measured, but beta particles are easier to detect quantitatively since they have mass and charge. A scintillation counter is used to measure the amount of light given off from the sample. Sample wires are placed between two photomultiplier tubes or PMTs and cradled by a thick lead to block outside radiation. When the radioactive nucleus undergoes beta decay, it emits beta particles. As the beta particles travels through the solvent, ripples in the electromagnetic field occurs, a result of disturbance in the field. The disturbance decelerates a fast-moving charged particle. In this case, beta particle is decelerated and it releases energy in the form of photons. The photons are emitted in all directions randomly. The system will only count if both PMTs detect photons simultaneously, otherwise any signal is rejected and not be recorded. The intensity of photons is directly proportional to the incidence light from the source. It can be taken to determine the concentration of radiative sample. So that's all for the video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.